All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Uh, today, we're going to be going over Pinterest audiences, so some best practices with creating Pinterest audiences, with getting everything set up. Um, to get started, you're, what you're going to need is a Pinterest account. You're going to need to get your ads account set up, and you're going to need to confirm your website with Pinterest. Uh, I have a tutorial on my channel of how to confirm your website with Pinterest. I'll also have the URL in the description for this video. Um, so you should be at this page, basically your website confirmed with Pinterest, you have billing set up with advertising and everything. Um, so our ads are all set up. We've set up ads before for beachfront decor, but we've actually never used audiences for them. So surprisingly enough, um, I've used audiences with other clients, but not with them specifically. So what we're going to do here is uh, create all the different types of audiences and go through them. And then I'm just going to show you an example of how to target them in your ads. Um, so basically we're going to come over here. Uh, when you sign into Pinterest, you should, and you set up your ads and everything like that, your ads account, just go to ads.pinterest.com. You're going to need a Pinterest business account. Um, what you're going to do is come to ads over here, and then down at the bottom, you're going to see audiences. So that's where you want to go is click on audiences, and that'll bring you right to this page. Um, so what we're going to do first is click create audience, um, and then what we're going to do is visitors who went to our site. Click next. Um, so you have to name your audience, describe your audience. Um, you can use your Pinterest tags, um, so you have some different tags here. Um, and then you can add filters if you want. So name my audience. I'm just going to do all website visitors. Um, so then we're going to do, and we'll, we'll do 30 days. So this is how I like to name it. I like to name basically a description of the audience and then how long the duration they're on the list for. Um, description, I'm not going to use description right now. You can use descriptions for your audiences. But um, So my Pinterest tags, my contacts is actually a um, conversion. Our website visitors is what I want to use, though. I want to use my Pinterest tag website visitors last 30 days. Um, include past traffic. So basically, it'll take people who have been on my website the last 30 days and automatically populate the list. Otherwise, if I do this, it'll just start populating today. You might as well include past traffic. There's no reason not to. Um, so we're going to click Create here. Okay, so now it's going to say, we need a bit more time to verify your audience. Please check back later. But basically, what it's doing is it's going to take... Anybody who's visited my website who also uses Pinterest for the last 30 days is going to be in my audience. Um, so when I target them in ads, I can target them uh, through Pinterest. Uh, so we're going to click Create Audience again. And I want to do Visitors who went to your site again and click Next. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is show you how filters work. Um, so let's just say, for example, I want to target people with... Um, Let's go to the website real quick, try to figure out something here. So let's just say I want to target anybody who's visited my article for beautiful mermaid decor. So I want to retarget them with different mermaid ads. Um, so what you could do is, I mean, what I would probably do, uh, best practice is put all my mermaid things together and then you kind of have a group of people who have an interest in mermaids. Um, so I have mermaid bedding, mermaid home decor, um, I have mermaid art. So different things like that on my website. And what I could do is just uh, create some of those different links and then target them but I'm just going to show you this. So basically, we're going to take beachfront decor, mermaid home decor, copy, come into oh, our Pinterest audiences. Um, we'll do mermaid decor, and we'll do 30 days. So Pinterest tags, I want to use website visitors. That's a tag I want to use. Um, I'm going to do 30 days again. Um, again, you can adjust this days here. I'm not sure what how long they let you keep people in here for, but you can keep people on your list for a long time. Um, you could also do like short periods of time. So if you get a lot of traffic, just go seven days. Uh, I like to do 30. I think it's a good, uh, good number. That's kind of like what I use for AdWords and different things like that. Usually, um, sometimes you go past seven days and bid up on them a little bit. Um, so basically what we're going to do here is you could do URL equals does not equal contains and does not contain. So I like to do equal or contains. So if you go to contains, basically come here, enter URL. So it's going to say URL contains HTTP mermaid home decor. So this works well if, for example, you have a section on your website. So if I had a section on my website that was, so this is where it makes more sense to use contains. So for example, if I have beachfrontdecor.com slash mermaid slash bedding, then it would work. I don't have mine set up like that. So what I would do is basically I would take my URL equals and I would probably just enter as many See, if you enter more here, it's going to come up or at the bottom. So basically what I would do is I would enter URL equals mermaid home decor. Um, I would go, so I think it's, so I'd go mermaid bedding. So then what it's going to do is now I have mermaid and maybe I just get rid of decor here. 
So I go mermaid 30 days, website visitors. So basically anyone who's visited this web page, anyone who's visited this web page are going to be added to this audience if they've been there in the last 30 days. And then all you have to do is click create. And now I've created um, an audience for mermaid. So you can do this with exact URL. So maybe I just want to reach people who visit my mermaid home decor link up here. So that's what I would uh, target just them. So if you have pages that get a ton of traffic and you want to retarget them with some ads, it's a great way to do it. Um, otherwise the way I just did it, I prefer to do it because you can add different, you know, you just use contains and then you add different URLs. So it's just going to be, or, and basically what you do is go, you know, mermaid home decor, mermaid wall decor, mermaid artwork, mermaid bedding. So different things like that. And then when I target people on Pinterest, um, if they've already shown interest in mermaids and mermaid decor, then when they see my ads, they're going to have some level of interest, even if they just repin them rather than go to my website. So this is kind of website visitor audiences you want to do. You can do different things. You know, all website visitors is usually a best practice for broader campaigns. And then if you're trying to target with specific products or specific promotions, then you want to start narrowing down people a little bit. So what I would do is probably create different audiences like mermaid. Uh, and we do a lot of bedding products. So bedding, uh, maybe you do lamps and lighting. So different things like that. You create audiences and then you can target them with ads that are actually relevant to what they're looking at. Whereas all website visitors, you know, if someone's coming in one day looking for mermaid bedding, someone else comes in the next day looking for beach chandeliers, it's a lot different. So all website visitors works more with kind of a broad message, whereas these audiences are going to be much more targeted and you can reach people better. All right. So next thing I want to do is upload an email list and use that as our next customer uh, audience here. So what we're going to do is click on create audience again and come to a list of customers that you upload and click next. Um, so our name of the audience is going to be email lists. And we'll go beachfront core email list. You can describe the audience if you want here. Um, so what I'm going to do is upload a CSV file. So the way my file looks, I can't show it to you because it's got um, customer data in it, but there's emails all in column A and it just starts in, you know, column A, row A and, or what is it? Column one, row A. And basically that's the first email. And then down column A, it just keeps going down, 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 down. So I have about 320 email emails, I think a little bit more. Um, so basically there's 320 emails. They're all in column A on separate lines. It's a CSV file. Um, so I'm going to upload it now and then click create. Okay. So I've uploaded the file. So now I'm just going to click create here. Um, so what it's going to do is it's going to match those emails to emails in Pinterest. So for example, um, if you sign up to my email list and you use that same email to use Pinterest, then basically you're going to be on my customer list here and I can target you. So they're just going to match different emails to Pinterest emails. So pretty simple concept. Um, but you can target people on your email list, which is good if you're running promotions, if you want to give, you don't want to inundate your email list with ads. I mean, unless you're kind of desperate for revenue, but you don't really want to do that because you're trying to build a long-term kind of a long-term relationship with those people where you want them to trust the content that you're putting out. They don't, they're going to trust that you're not going to be too spammy and salesy to them. And you're just going to give them good content. So that's basically what you're trying to do. Um, so next we're going to click create audience again. Next we're going to do an engagement audience and click next. So basically pretty simple. Anyone who's engaged with your pins over the past, however many days you want. So we're going to do 30 days again. Um, we'll go engagement, all pins, 30 days. So I have a confirmed domain here. So again, you want to confirm your website and Pinterest. Um, basically what it's going to do is say anyone who's engaged with any of my pins in the past 30 days, um, and add to this audience. So if someone's repinning my pins, if I'm, someone's following me, different things like that, if they're, engaging with my Pinterest profile, then they're going to be added here. And then I can target them as an audience as well. So just another way to reach people who have shown some level of interest in beach decor. Um, you can add a filter here so you can add certain URLs uh, for destination URL. So if someone's uh, engaging with certain ones of your pins, what you want to do is add, you know, for example, I have a bunch of mermaid home decor pins here. So you add your URL here. So destination URL equals that. Um, so whatever the destination URL of your pin is, that's what you want to use as your uh, filter. You could also do action types. Um, so maybe you just want to do people who have clicked. Um, so just type equals clicks, which is going to narrow it down a little bit. Uh, maybe you just do someone who's saved. You could do click and save. So just different options that you have here. Um, you could also do does not equal someone who has done a close up. So maybe you want click comments and saves, but you don't want anyone who does a close up. So just some different things you can do. Um, you could also do pin ID. So you just enter your pin IDs. So, um, so every single pin has a pin ID. So when you open it, you'll find it in the URL. Um, so 
percent video viewed so pretty simple if you're running videos so anyone who's viewing a lot of your videos so if you just have one video running and you do anyone who's watched at least 75 percent of it you know not a bad idea it just depends on what your preferences are and then pin categories so you can just um, enter the categories here for Pinterest all the different categories here so anyone who's engaged with your pin and has also um, you know put it in their own who engage with your pin in a certain category, let's say. That's the best way to put it. So, for example, I'm in home decor, but I also have pins in wedding. So maybe I want to do wedding. So anyone who's engaged with any of my wedding pins, I could just enter weddings down here. Um, so just some different options you have. Um, so we're not going to do any filters. So you just click remove filter over here. So now it's going to do engagement all pins for 30 days. Uh, beachfront decor include past traffic and click create. Okay, so now we have our engagement all pins audience, our beachfront decor email list audience, uh, all website visitors 30 days, and our mermaid 30 days uh, sample is just an audience I created by accident. Um, so we click create audience here, and the last option we have here is an act like audience. Um, they're also called similar audiences in Google AdWords. They're called look alike audiences in Facebook. They're act alike audiences in Pinterest. They're all the same thing. They match people based on their interests, based on their age, based on uh, their gender, all sorts of different things. Um, so if we're using an act like audience, what I could do is act like email list. So basically you pick your email list here. So I would take my beachfront decor email list. And then what's going to happen is they're going to say reach 1% of the people in the United States that are on Pinterest that are related to this email list. So they're going to take the people from the email list. So it's primarily females, um, age kind of varies, location kind of varies, but they're going to try to say, okay, so the majority of their people on their email list follow into this profile. So they're going to put people, basically they're going to expand it to about 700,000 more people who are very similar to these types, to the people on this list. You can also just click all website visitors. So whichever one you want to use, you can combine them. You can just choose one. Um, I'll use all website visitors for 30 days. Um, act like email list, or now we'll just keep email list. So it's already named it. So we'll do act like email list, beachfront decor email list, 1% here. United States, you can adjust the country here. Um, so if you want to target a different country and we're just going to click on create. So that should be at the bottom. So now we have our act like email list audience. So act like audiences are going to be more Pinterest based where they're trying to find people who have some level who, you know, who are similar to people that are on your list that you've already created. So that's basically audiences here. Um, you just kind of create your audiences and the sizes are going to grow as you go. So it's going to start populating each day. It's going to say for all these, we need a bit more time to verify your audience. Um, but there are these are some sizable audiences, some of them, not the mermaid, but some of the other ones are pretty big audiences. So um, now what I want to show you next is if you come into the advertisements and how to use these audiences. So I have Pinterest ads open here, so you just come to add, or you just come up here and click create ad. We're just going to do get traffic to your website. Uh, we'll do a new campaign. So we'll just do email list. I don't know, targeting. All right, so now you can do where do you want your promoted to pins to appear? So you can do browse and search. Uh, we'll just do all. So add more details. So now this is where you get into targeting. Um, so this is where you can just target some of your audiences. So if you're going through um, and creating a new Pinterest campaign, you just click on whichever audience you want to target and you can just do include. It's going to say your campaign won't be active until we finish verifying this audience, but obviously you have to wait a little bit after you create audiences. Um, you can add all of them here. Um, so maybe I just want to create a huge audience of people who you know, maybe I do all website visitors, anyone who's engaged with my pins and the email list, get rid of my act like audience. So now I have people who have shown some level of interest in beachfront decor. Um, they'll eventually be over a hundred people. So you can still create your campaign and everything like that. Um, you can also layer in different interests here. So maybe I just want to do, you know, people in these categories, uh, let's go home and garden, home decor, and you'll start to see your maximum CPC bid here. So they're trying to show some different bids that you can add. Uh, I think the lowest bid they allowed is 10 cents. Um, so you could always, I always start really low with my bids on Pinterest. Um, so that's kind of how that goes. You can add keywords as well. So it just depends on what you want to do. I don't like to layer audience targeting too much. I like to just target these audiences and then just have my pins go out to them. Um, your best bet, uh, best practice is to create audiences more similar to the mermaid audience that I created. And then, you know, when you're targeting, get rid of these, this audience here. 
uh, when you're targeting, you can add mermaid home decor keywords. You can add different things like that. So then basically, and then you have a mermaid pin, and then you're sending them to a mermaid page with you know all their products. So that's kind of a best practice with using audiences. But there's plenty of other uses for you know using your email list, using act like audiences to build up um, and try to reach new people. But this is our Pinterest audiences tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, if you ever need any help with Pinterest, we'll, we can always give you some uh, some help. But make sure you subscribe to our channel, and thank you for watching our video today.